I think it's working. All right, uh, hi everyone, Dr. Phil here. I just wanted to go over, I wanted to do a video before I uh, autoclaved these plates. But I basically, we did a hand washing um, lab sort of in class. So it was kind of a facsimile stimu uh, simulation. So I gave everyone uh, TSA blood auger plates to inoculate from their fingers. So what I did initially was I gave everyone the marker to divide your plate into two. All right, so I should show you what we did. I'm going to just draw a line through this. Right, and I'm going to write one here and two here. So basically what I'm going to have you, I had everyone do was take their fingers and inoculate side one. And then we wanted you to use your hand sanitizer, same fingers, inoculate side two. And then we auto, I auto clipped. I incubated them overnight and I took them out and let them grow. So basically what we should have had, and this one came out good. I want to do this before I uh, auto clipped it. So if you look at this plate, that is side one will be in the superior position. Side two, if you look, um, I can still see the fingerprints on there. And there's one colony, so that literally was probably one single tiny, uh, that looks like it might be staph epi from the color, um, could be E. coli, I'm really not sure, growing on there. So we went from that microbial load to this microbial load. So that turned out perfect, all right? Um, if you look at this, there's some yellow raised colonies. Uh, that's definitely Staph aureus. I will gram saying that later. And it looks like there might be some um, E. coli on there's a bunch of different stuff on there. Really perfect, perfect morphology. And I should be able to isolate certain colonies off of there with the of the loop and I'll figure out what that is. Uh, maybe we make some slides, record that, right? Everything here, if you look at that, there's definitely some <clears throat> uh, mold going on that up there, a lot of bacteria. But once again, in position two, a much, much less. Here's the thing that I wanted to show everyone. This one isn't great, I don't wanna make this too long. But um, some of you had some mold from mold spores, which is fine. <clears throat> All right, this one isn't great, but if you look, that is definitely mold. And around that, if you can see it, the darker spot is a zone of inhibition. So I know that's mold. And I told everyone in class today that penicillin initially was made from mold and uh, when the mold's going, it released some um, chemicals into the environment that inhibited the growth of bacteria. So now we have uh, a zone of inhibition with that. Okay. So I wanted to just do that before I autoclaved it. Some of this, if you look, um, there's some beta hemolytic in there. It actually hemolyzed the blood in the auger. All right. Once again, zone one, zone two. So we definitely see that the hand sanitizer worked. The other thing I wanted to point out before um, I autoclave these is please realize your hand sanitizer um, has alcohol in it. It will kill any vegetative cells. There's another one, but it will not kill spores. So a lot of times. On the zone two, you'll have anything that's a spore former. If there's spores at all, they will uh, revegetate over time. All right, but the most important thing before I uh, autoclave these, I wanted to let you know that um, I told everyone that I sterilized the marker before you marked your all your plates, um, so it wouldn't affect the results. You wouldn't be getting bacteria from the marker and inoculating it in the plates from your fingertips. But what I didn't tell you was that I put, uh, let's see this, glow germ on all the Sharpies. So when you 
pass the markers around to everyone. What you're doing is you're picking up blow germ from the marker, and that kind of shows you how you can transmit bacteria and microbes from inanimate objects or fomites from person to person or provider to patient or whatever the scenario is at the time. And then we turn the lights out and I turned oh, my little buddy on here, which is a black light and everyone or most of you all had some glow germ on your fingers from picking up the marker. All right, so it's kind of an experiment just showing you how you can transmit all of these microbes from uh, person to person, patient to person in any kind of healthcare setting from a fomite, could be a stethoscope, could be from hands, face paper, doorknobs, or whatever it happens to be. All right, so I am going to, um, if I find a really good plate, I'm going to, yeah, that, that's like old. I'm going to do some really good um, gram stains on these. Some of you had some really great colonies. And then I will share those results with all of you in a week or two when I get them done. And uh, with the Lycra on the camera, I should be able to take images of that and then upload that for you all. All right, till next time.